Hi, I'm Fletcher Murray, and this is Brian David Hall, Los Angeles-based photographer. And what we want to do today is expand your approach to your lighting setup. Basically, fit the lighting setup to the situation you're in. The shots that get the best results for my actor clients are the ones where I show some grit and reality, some detail to their faces that you can't get when you overlight. Three of them were shot with using no strobes at all. Can you guess which ones? This episode was brought to you by Bay Photo, so we would appreciate you when you've got a really nice photograph and you want a great print of it done, you go to Bay Photo. That's right. 40 years in the business, they deliver excellent quality. So let's get started. Example one, Wendell Dayton, fly on the wall shooting. Wendell hated strobes. He didn't want to be disturbed. He wanted me invisible. So I noticed the light bouncing off an east facing door and used that for my light source. I asked him to step to the workbench and it was like a deer coming into the sights of a hunter. In two minutes I ripped off my shots and was very happy with the results. Now Brian, obviously this is a strobe shoot. Yes. When I plan my lighting setups, I forget preconceptions and look at who I'm photographing. Carrie is a radio and TV personality and an activist, and she's approaching 50 years old. She takes great care of herself and her skin. There's nothing to cover up, so I only needed one light source. I'm firing a Speedatron light head at 600 watts into a Profoto umbrella with diffusion. Outside, we're using a Canon 600EX RT speed light with Gary Fong light sphere minimal lighting and minimal retouching of this beautiful woman. Martin Cove of Karate Kid fame has tremendous character in his face that you don't want to erase by overlighting. So again, study the subject's face before you choose your lighting. Here we went with a Speedatron light head pushed through a classic 2x3 Chimera softbox on his face and rimmed him with a 12 inch dish with a 10 degree aluminum honeycomb grid. Crispin Belfrage is a London based actor and he came to me for a series of headshots. Now this has got to be a strobe shot. Nope all natural light and we're breaking the rules by using a south facing studio door not a north facing door. I spread black cloth on the floor to kill the bounce. He's about eight feet in from the door. I brighten the green background later in Photoshop. Don't put ketchup on everything. Brian what do you mean by that? Don't light everybody the same? Exactly. This is an image I made of my mother and sometimes happenstance brings you powerful ingredients you can turn into a great photograph but if you're stuck in a lighting setup rut, you won't see it. On this day, with the turbulent sky background and the wind just wafting her hair, I only had a Canon 600 XRT off camera on its lowest setting to open up the shadows on the left side of her face. A beautiful interplay of beauty and power. Just love it. If you want to go to heaven, leave the strobes in the car. There was no time to set up strobes, but there was an east facing window. The window's at my back. Cupid Hayes is about eight feet away. A beautiful shot of a stunning talent and no retouching. This photo has received more comments than any photo I'd taken. And the strobes were in the car. Brian, these are great examples of not over lighting and using the lighting that's available. Basically, becoming aware of your lighting situation and not being in the rut that you always bring the same lights, the same setup to every party. And I think that's what really pays off is we're trying to open your eyes to better lighting setups and different ways of getting a great result without having to spend a lot of money. I often tell my students, wouldn't it be great if you could buy something in a box that made you a great photographer or a great filmmaker? Well, it isn't gonna happen. But while we're struggling to become the greatest ever, Brian and I would like to share with you sort of our combined 50 years of experience so you can get there as quickly as possible. And when you get a fine shot, be sure to go to Bay Photo and get a great print of it. They're unbelievably, their professional excellence is just unequal. That's right. Over 40 years in the business, bayphoto.com. Great quality, excellent service. So we'll see you next time. We're happy to answer any questions you have. Send them in. For now, take care and get out and take pictures. Thanks a lot. As a photographer, I want to make sure that the company I'm handing my imagery off to is going to print it and represent it in a way that I'm proud to show my clients. And for me, Bay Photo was that company. 